here I am in the cabin orchard. This is what your orchard will look like about 15 years after you plant it. If you put fences around the trees, after about 10 years you can probably take the fences off. They'll be tall enough uh, that the deer can't kill a tree. And you'll get an orchard that looks similar to, there you go, similar to this. You may notice right away the browse line. That's about a uh, good five feet off the ground, okay? The deer will get up there and, and knock apples off the tree um, and browse all the, all the limbs, any, uh, any leaves that they can reach from their hind feet, they'll browse off. So this is about five feet, right about to there. Okay. Notice all the limbs, the tips are always browsed clean. Uh, bouncing the limb, they will knock a lot of apples off. Uh, raccoons and possums will get up in a tree and knock off more. Uh, they, so that's what you can expect. Uh, right now all I have on the trees is uh, wire mesh. It's quarter inch wire mesh. Let me zoom in on that for you so you can see it. And uh, this keeps the deer from rubbing the tree and it keeps the rodents and, and the uh, rabbits from from uh, girding the tree. Over here on some smaller trees that were planted uh, later we still have the cages. So this sweet 16 here has and I just wrapped the bigger fence up around a few times. As this tree spreads, I will open the, the fencing up more. Uh, take the vinyl wrap off. We all know, leave the vinyl wrap on the, in the winter time. But I need to clean, I need to take that off. It was on all summer. This tree, you see the wire is spread a little bit more. And uh, the limbs are starting to come out over, over the edges. So the deer will get to this one next year, probably this winter, take that off. But as the, as the limbs come up over the fence, um, once all the limbs, uh, I'll probably take this lower limb off here. This limb, it's kind of balancing the tree now, but I'll probably take that lower limb off and get this tree a little bit, a little bit taller. Really, those, lot, those bottom four limbs, I should probably prune them all off. This should be about the first limb right up here, almost near the top of the cage. It's not the easiest for picking apples, definitely. Notice this tree. Uh, for picking apples, I mean, you want the tree shorter so you can get to it without a ladder. But if you're going to use it for deer, the easiest way is to just grow it more like this tree, five foot up. Uh, this is a this is a richelieu tree. You see how the deer have, have taken that off now. Uh, this this tree has what they call weak wood in that uh, it's kind of gangly limbs that don't hold a lot of weight too well. You see the deer come up here. This I call this my my self pruning orchard because a deer they do most of the pruning, and I don't, uh, I don't prune back the trees as much out here. I take large limbs out to open the tree up, uh, and I take the tops of the trees off. These trees were taller, but they made it really hard to pick apples, so I cut the tops off, try to get the tree to grow outward. This one, I think I'm about, about time to take this fence off this tree here. This is a turly wine sap. But I have about 20, 25 trees out here in the orchard. Uh, this will be mostly for deer. Uh, the good, the good apples, the honey crisp, the golden delicious, the Macallan, I'll probably pick. But the Fujis, which are typically small, if I want them for cider, I'll pick them. They're getting some size on them now. Fuji is kind of a strange apple. It, it doesn't put its size on until the last month. Then, it, then it kind of starts blowing up a little bit getting some getting larger you know that's an okay size apple right there but it was small all summer but how do you pick a tree when the when the apples are all 10 12 foot up I can't thin them at that height either so 
so I don't know. we deal with it but that's the uh, that's the orchard for the I, deer uh, start planting these back in 2000 I think the oldest ones out here from 2003 so they're 15 years old uh, mostly on I think M106 rootstock or M111 and I started there was some black spruce out here on this hill this hill was sand sand the only thing that grew on this hill was black spruce ferns and briars and some moss uh, with so with a lot of fertilizer and lime it's uh, it's it finally grew some grass which helps to keep the water retained a little better uh, so even on a sand hill you can grow an orchard I've proved it if you have any questions please leave comments below I love to answer questions any way I can help